These are the renderings and some drone video of the new tennis and pickleball facility in Raleigh. It's in the Briar Creek area and was supposed to originally open two years ago, although it has hit delay after delay. WRO's Brett Neese is asking the question, will it ever happen? And is the city's $10 million investment safe? The signage with the swing logo has sat along this fence line for years with little more than the wind to move it. Finally, though, after so many delays, crews will begin moving dirt next week. Rob Autry is going over the site plans for his latest venture, swing, racket, and paddle. For years, the longtime entrepreneur has envisioned a facility for tennis and pickleball unlike any in the world. It is a dream come true. <laughs> but that dream was put on hold time and time again, and the cost of it has significantly increased. WRAL covered the first unveiling of this facility in 2020 when the mayor came out and toured city-owned property that it agreed to lease to swing. Then the project was $55 million and was expected to open in 2022. In 2022, I covered new renderings of the facility, which had jumped in price to $70 million. It was supposed to finish construction in 2024. Here we are in 2024, and there's still no facility, and the budget has increased to $125 million. So I asked Autry why anyone should take this project serious after all this time. Our permits are in, we are off to the races, our groundbreaking is done, we've got some incredible partners that are part of this process, and just the size and scope has changed dramatically. For the city, it's still a gamble, but leaders believe it's a safe bet. We've done our work as a city in working with the swing, uh, the swing partnership, and we're we're confident that by I believe the end of 2026, we're going to be looking at having a, a great grand opening in partnership with them. The land lease the city agreed to for the property means Swing will pay the city $275,000 every year for the next 100 years. That goes up 3% each year. A few months ago, leaders also agreed to a $10 million economic incentive grant. This is an economic development project for, for the, the city and I would say the Triangle. There'll be no other facility like it in the United States. Autry tells me the budget on this project more than doubled because COVID caused construction prices to skyrocket. The rise of pickleball reimagined what this facility will completely look like. And a partnership with Wilson Sporting Goods added an even bigger building to the campus. In Raleigh, Brittany, WRL News.